Do you two do that? Typically, what the gentleman has just said is, is exactly what we do. We, we do silly things. Uh -huh. Now, pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> We're, 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 we're Monday jokers, aren't we? Sure, it's so. <laughs> <laughs> and, if, and if we upset anybody, no. it's, it's straight out, you know, straight off. What do you do? And we can apologise. I've never actually upset anybody, because everybody, everybody just thinks we look stupid anyway. Get us back, put it that way. <laughs> we're a visual slap in the face of people. We, we, we dress up, yeah. and then we do strange things. Such things as. that they're not expecting. We've been to um, a fire play shop, a gas fire shop, sorry. Butty shop. Uh, butty shop. The gas fire shop was a good story. Go on, sent, tell us a gas fire shop story. I sent, I sent Sam down. He's the man, you see. I think <laughs> of the ones. I, I flick him over, he nods him in. He, I sent him down. He had a load of coal in his arm. He went in there, pretended to be a miner, grumbling that he'd lost his job. Now he's having to paint all ladies' kitchens. Dumped a load of coal on this bloke who just stood and looked at him. Oh, his face froze. He, was absolutely, he just didn't know what to do. Classic. And the best thing is... What <laughs> <laughs> classic? <laughs> and tell him what he shouted. Go on. So I'm painting old ladies' kitchens now. Call this king, I said. <laughs> I walked out. <laughs> and, it's, and we're doing it to people we know as well. And they don't recognise us, which is a good thing as well. So what else have you done? Uh, the sandwich shop was about a three-month one. A lot, of, a lot of thought went into that. We created yeah. two characters. Uh, I'm Malcolm, he's Morris. He used to go in and get the sandwich. I used to stand outside, because I crack up laughing, to be honest. And so I, I had to stand outside, so, so he'd tell him I was a dangerous one. We put on voices. You can't come in, he'll bang his head. He'll bang his head, he's an idiot and you don't want him in the shop. And they'd always try and coax me and try to run away. Now, for three months, they believed that we were really people. Well, and you were you, there's something wrong with you. And you we were, you were they, dangerous, mad. They thought we were carrying the community painters. Right. <laughs> dressed like is, this, you were dressed, dressed like, like this. Yeah. Just like this. And, and, and in the end, there was an article in the local paper, which they didn't see, incidentally. We thought we'd been outed. So we left it on the, uh, on the till when we went in normally dressed, but they didn't recognise us again. And within 20 minutes, the phone was ringing at my shop, and it was blue. It, the air turned blue. But she loved it. Because you had fright. Well, you, you, the story is you had frightened these people mm. because they were afraid of you coming in the shop because they, they thought you were dangerous. They weren't frightened. They, they, they were sympathetic to us. They but they were doing strolls just through service just because they wanted to go out the back and laugh the rest. <laughs> and they'd give us the wrong sandwiches, and they'd give us too many sandwiches because they couldn't. They didn't know where to look. <laughs> but in no way at all were they ever frightened or scared. They yeah. just thought. Oh, so Morris, you made this, this is a kind of hobby of yours? It's, uh, it's a bit of an obsession lately. Yeah. Oh, is it because oh, of every now and again? Oh, the last yeah. 12 months, yeah. You do it all the time? We do it yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> you could be Jeremy Beadle, you two, couldn't you? <laughs> no, 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 it's no, no. Could... <laughs> And what happens when you're beadled? <laughs> Tell us about it. I'd been doing a pantomime and I came back late one night, um, 11 o'clock, and the farm was all lit up.